Good morning, I was asked to say a few words at the Instrument uh, only an hour before uh, only an hour before so I thought I would just be prefer, uh, prepared for this just in case. <laughs> sorry guys, sorry. I am humbled and honored to be here. Our Heavenly Father has truly blessed my family in so many ways. I hope to use my platform to do good, spread the gospel, and represent our culture, as well as my family. That's right. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nico Yamaliaba. I was born and raised in Long Beach, California. My parents are Nick and Marlena, and I am one of eight children. My maternal grandparents are from Malatau Talatasi and from Anisese Wa'alulu, from Fa'umbola and Salemola. My paternal grandparents are Anita Asorina and Yonga Yamaleyama from Pango Pango and Vaimosa. <laughs> I was raised to fear God and keep my family first. These same values I will still, in, I will instill my own children one day in the far, far future. <laughs> <laughs> I first want to acknowledge my parents for whom I would not be here. Like physically, in this room, surrounded by legends like Jesse Sapolu and Troy Balamala. My dad trained me since I was in diapers. My love for football started with the video game, Madden. My dad would have seated me, would have seated me on his lap in nothing but a diaper while he played and I watched it. <laughs> It got to where I wanted my own controller. Then it got to where I knew when the controller was off and I would throw a fin until he put me as player two. <laughs> Eventually, I played flag football and tackle. Coaches would always put me on the line or on defense. My dream was to be the next Troy Pokemon. It wasn't until my rugby coach suggested I play quarterback. I remember not being able to throw the ball 10 yards. My dad said he saw something and made it his mission to develop me as a quarterback. That was eight years ago. I always knew I was going to play Division I football. I just never imagined it would be as a quarterback. It wasn't always easy. In fact, it was extremely hard. Early morning and late nights were the norm. My dad pushed me to my breaking point and then pushed me harder. My mom had it down with the rest of my siblings and made sure we wanted for nothing. She survived breast cancer just to make sure she could be here with us. Mm -hmm. I know in my heart it was God's will and her own willpower. She is the strongest woman I know. It is my life's will to ensure my parents and my siblings are well taken care of and loved. Mm -hmm. I want to thank all of, all of those involved with the Polynesian Bowl, Kevin and his staff, this is one of the greatest highlights of my life. I look forward to working with all the great people that I met this past week to help grow our culture and the game of football and to normalize pra praising our Heavenly Father in every capacity. I also want to shout out all my guys who I thought should have gotten this award. Tassili Okana, Makai Lemon, Mateo Uyangalele, and Francis Mawingola. This award's for all of us. We can figure a way out to share this award. <laughs> Love you all for this. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It is now.